So continuing on, so it flies that catch fish, proven fish catchers basically, uh, is this little pattern. It's called the Nemesis and it was shown to me by a good friend, um, Tim Smith. Tim wasn't a great fan of fishing lures, so he, he wanted to combine like the fish catching properties, a sort of concrete bowl viva in a nymph. So he came up with this pattern. So it's Tim we would to thank for this, and this is the way I tie it. So to start off, I've got a size 10 wet fly, comp special, just whatever hook you want, really. This is a barred one. And I just, I've got a little bit of space there, you'll see behind the eye. Oh, I'll give myself a little bit of breathing space there and come down to a point opposite the hook point and just take that tag end away I've got some um, black marabou you want about a fingers pinch worth if that makes sense and it's getting your fingers give it a twist to bind all the fibres together bring your hook back up to where the thorax should be and then tie in Like so, come in, and snip the waist. I think of this stuff, open mirage, medium, and I want like a couple to three wraps of this. I'll cut it on my side. Just bed it and make sure the, the body's nice and even. And what I like to do is give the thread a bit of wax. Um, you can use seals for, for this, that's what the original was, however when I fish it as a nymph I prefer something a little bit softer so um, rabbit mixed with squirrel or something like that. This stuff that I've got is a, oh, what is it, 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 F and F mole rat, black, I'm not sure if he does that anymore. But it's nice stuff, it adheres to the thread well enough once you give it a bit of wax. A lot better than seals fur. And just come up at the body to where the thorax will be. Maybe a little tiny little pinch mode on there. You can always take it off. Cut the wraps there. There you go, pull everything back. And what I like to do is I just brush everything out here, brush everything out at this point. It's meant to be straggly. Okay, now rather than coming up, I'm just going to put a hitch in here. Rather than coming up, you come through the body anti clockwise, so the opposite direction that you wound the, the dubbing on. So there's two nice open wraps there, and I just come in. Come in, he says, and secure. Don't worry about that bit, you can see it in your side because you'll almost see that. So I've got two definite bits of ribbon there. Let's pull all the fibres back a little bit, tidy this area up. Now, we want some natural pheasant and take a generous pinch of that. Because that's going to be your, your thorax cover. And what I like to do is when I tie it in, I just place it on top of the hook shank and sort of roll the thread around it. So it creates like a proper cover. Let's see that there. Proper cover. And then with your scissors. Snip close to the eye. Tidy up. I'm just checking to see what everything is. And then again, some of the, the soft dubber, dubbing, natural fur. In this case, it's the, the mole rat, which is really soft. It's very similar to rabbit. Um, not quite rabbit. Whether this comes from a mole rat or not, I'm not very sure. 
I'm sure Kevin Portis can shine some light on it. And be quite generous with this bit. Don't go up towards the eye. You want to leave yourself some space there. Don't worry about this. This this bulky area. Come through it with your thread. Yeah? Pull everything back. Like so. And again, because I'm dealing with uh, a fur, I like to pull some of that out again. Like I say, you want a, a buggy looking fly. So, all we're going to do now is bring our pheasant tail forward, pull any stray fibres out of the way, see with that bulky thorax cover, as per Tim's original fly, I could catch that in a little bit further back. You can create bulk with a hackle, but the original never had a hackle. So I tie it as per the original. I'm just going to come in and secure a little whip finish in there. And then snip. And then just with your, your thread. Tidy up the head area. Don't worry about bulk here because the whole point of the fly is it's got a trigger point which will tie in just shortly. Kind of looks like a bead, really. Then it's this stuff. Go about 12. You can use a tiny thread, I just I prefer the floss. It's really, really bright. Now, take a tag in and pull everything back, like so. Because you're building up that head area. And then just shoot, pull away. Now what to do is spin. Hold your thread there and spin, this bob, spin the bobbin. Spin it clockwise. And what that does is it just makes the floss very, very thin. So it's no flattening out when you're tying. And then just come up. Like I say, a pronounced head is what you're after. And then tie off. One, two, three. Come in with your thumb and forefinger and snip the tail. And there you can see a perfect sort of cross mini lure, um, mini lure come concrete ball, viva, whatever you want to call it. But there it is, the nemesis, a buggy looking fly. Um, there's no streamlineness to this at all. It's just a proper lure stroke nymph kind of thing and it should be fished in that manner. Fish it on the point with some nymphs higher up the cast. I'm sure even it'd be disappointed. Um a great fly for still waters and reservoirs. Give it a try.